Now from quarterbacks to horsebacks, reporter Gia Piccarella is live in the field to preview LSU's equestrian season. Gia? Thanks, guys. The LSU equestrian team is gearing up for their season opener, coming off of a championship win. And the team's atmosphere is anything but pressured. The LSU equestrian team season opener at Texas State on October 26th will be here before you know it. And the team has been working hard since school started with the hopes of having another successful season. The team has been claiming consecutive titles since 2016 and LSU alumna Caroline Barwell secured the team's first ever championship in 2023. Needless to say, the expectations for this season are high. Oh, we're gonna miss it. Turn, go. While some teams and organizations may feel added pressure to bring home another championship, the equestrian team has a different approach. The atmosphere is energetic, friendly, and optimistic. President Sidney Stanridge sees the increase of integrity in the riders and can't wait to see their hard work pay off at their season opener. Like, this is the first year that I'm looking towards our season opener and going, ah, oh, like I don't have those nervous butterflies in my stomach. It's like, I'm excited to get out there. I'm excited to get in the ring. Every practice, we're all there's so many people that are like taking multiple opportunities to ride more and more. So I feel like we all kind of have that fire in us that we're ready to step into the ring, ready to be the best riders we can be. The equestrian team recently added a few new members. The new riders will quickly have to adapt to a few rules that differ from the shows they were competing in before. The most challenging is riding a randomly selected horse chosen from a hat for their event with no opportunity to warm up with that horse. This allows the judges to focus specifically on the rider's technique and their ability to think on their feet. Among these new members is freshman Caitlin Wilkes. And while this idea might be frightening to some, Caitlin feels differently. Um, I find it really fun to just hop on a new horse and try and learn quickly and think on my feet and just figure out what they like and how to ride them the best. But riding a random horse isn't all that bad. Usually veterans can give the rookie some insight on the horses they are riding, or they can contact another team for a better description of their personality. I know, I didn't think horses had personalities either, so Sydney was kind enough to further explain. It's like Max. He's that big gray. <laughs> He's such a big example of like, just long and low. He just has such a long body and he just doesn't want to always use it, which is okay. It's safe to say the LSU equestrian team is eager for their season to get rolling and that the team is taking the proper steps to have another successful season. As the LSU equestrian team gallops into their season opener, it's clear that they are doing more than just chasing titles. They're showcasing their passion. Back to y'all in the studio. Thanks, Gia. We 